and we went out to the tent city, walked around there. We talked to the homeless and uh, had meetings, uh, many meetings, uh, and uh, see what we could do. And uh, one thing we uh, came away with this is that they deserve a more secure and more hygienic conditions. Uh, they deserve dry shelter, reliable health care, and warm meals. So that was the challenge. How do we provide that? Uh, we cannot look away and pretend like this does not happen because it is happening and uh, we must take action. And that is why we are doing all we can uh, to do right by the people who are living in these difficult circumstances and these difficult times. There's the people that have not chosen to be in this condition. It's because the economy is down. A lot of them lost jobs, their money, their belongings and everything. My office has been working, of course, now with the mayor and with Cal Expo to extend uh, the contract which was about to expire here, uh, to allow homeless, uh, the homeless people to stay here at night. Uh, together we are making now changes that will help the people uh, of the tent city. We have to now find a way to bring them here and we have all the, the help in the world. I think couples will be able to remain together. Pets will have a place to, uh, to stay. There will be a storage uh, for belongings. Uh, the hours will be extended and the number of beds will be expanded by 50. Um, this is a problem that um, when I came in the office, I said we were not going to ignore any longer. Um, my campaign slogan was a city that works for everyone, and that was really with the homeless population in mind. We have, as a city, swept this under the rug and ignored it. It was a dirty little secret that we did not want to talk about, and uh, that's no longer acceptable in the city of Sacramento. I am proud that the task force came together and in two weeks came up with some real solutions. Typically, um, you do not see city government working with a sense of urgency, certainly a, a sense of urgency to find solutions in a real time manner, and we did that. Council last night approved the plan, and the governor addressed some of these things. I just want to reiterate, um, Cal Expo is a winter overflow. Shelter is going to be expanding. It will not uh, close at the end of March. It will stay open through June, which is very significant. Um, we will also be bringing out 50 additional beds to Cal Expo, um, 32 additional beds between St. John's and AIDS and Kind Shelter, and then permanent housing units with Faith and Families Initiative. There will be 68 additional permanent housing units. That makes it up 150 beds that we'll be able to bring here in the Sacramento community, which is very, very significant.